Yellow. Canelo style is a beautiful, high-risk, high-reward style built off of Mexican bombs and methodically applied pressure to set up those very bombs. What Bevel had, though, was a few things. Reach. Height. With it. The way he used his jab was what secured victory. So, what was the difference then? The jab is already recognized as the best punch in boxing. Why were things different for Bevel? Note how Bevel's jab breaks a rule. When you throw a jab, it's supposed to whip back to the appropriate defensive position. But alternate between a high guard. Bevel, he would often end up in a Philly shell because of the commitment he'd emphasize with his jab. Why is this important? This push here tells you exactly what Bevel is doing. His jab isn't necessarily thrown to deal damage. He's using it to manage distance. He's muffling Canelo's rhythm and forcing Canelo to swing, not only against the momentum or push he's taking from the jab, but also being forced to cover a reach disadvantage. This is making it hard for Canelo to land meaningful power punches. He always seems just out of reach. This is what Bevel's pushing jab is accomplishing. He can drop his hand after the jab because it's part of the mechanical advantage that helps him follow through and push. Push Canelo Alvarez off footing. It's the precision and speed of Bivol's jab which makes the pushing nature of it safe. He's creating space. Dimitri Bivol is creating space. And so when Canelo has to fight against that momentum to re-enter his reach, it takes too much time. Bevel is ready to defend. It's mastery of a fundamental which allows Dimitri Bevel to break a rule. Pablo Picasso had it right. Learn the rules like a pro so you can break them like an artist. Dimitri Bevel is just playing a different game. He does have power punches as part of his kit as well, but that's not his focus. His focus is control. Ring generalship, disrupting rhythm. You see just that. You see this jab doing just that throughout the fight. Just appreciate his footwork and his understanding of range. Note the common theme where his hand, or in this case hands drop, when he knows he's entering a certain range. He knows he's leaving the space, entering a range that is safe. Super technical. You're just watching a masterful understanding of range. It's no wonder Canelo Alvarez was exhausted after the fight. Playing with someone who was poking him with pushing, opposed to popping jabs, forcing him to play against an attribute disadvantage with each push. Canelo was not only expending energy on power, he was expending energy trying to cover distance, expending energy working against the momentum of each Jab. Styles make fights. This was a rough style, and in a game of inches, the attributes of Dimitri Bivol made it all the more difficult for Canelo Alvarez. You saw a bit of frustration. One man was seriously trying to hurt you, trying to break you. The other was playing a different game. I hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown. Please smash the like button if you enjoyed. It does great for the channel. Thank you. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace.